I made up a flying wing in Google SketchUp. It is 1517 millimeters long. It will have a Turnigy G10 motor with a 10 inch prop. The airfoil I based the flying wing on is a TL54 which is a high lift and low drag airfoil. I based this flying wing off of plans I found on the internet from a slope glider called the Rainbow. I flattened the wing contours out and then made it into uh, a plan that can be printed out. Flying wings have a tendency of tip stalling and spinning out of the air so what I am trying is putting a KFM2 airfoil on the outer tips of the wing along with the wing tip winglets and I'm hoping this will provide a stable platform at low speeds. The KFM2 airfoil will have a drooped leading edge which will provide greater lift at lower speeds and prevent the outer wing from stalling before the inner wing stalls which will hopefully prevent tip stalling. I'm going to show you how to print off PDF plans so you can transfer it to a piece of Dollar Tree foam or fan fold foam and cut it out. In the Google SketchUp toolbar go to camera select parallel projection then click top view then click zoom extents then go to File, Export, 2D Graphics, then select the name for your PNG, save it as a PNG file. You'll set this number based on the size of your measurements in GIMP or Photoshop. Well, I'll set this to 6000. It's all trial and error. Um, ensure anti-aliasing is turned on. Hit OK. Click export. This block right here is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters and zoom in to the square that you is printed on your P PNG. Go to millimeters, select the measurement tool from your tool options and click and drag and you see that this is 18.3 millimeters right here so we're too small. I'm going to set this to 6600 export yes set your measurement tool to millimeters that's 20.1 millimeters now and that is 20.1 millimeters that's as close as you're gonna get it okay to save on paper and ink we're going to crop this down so select your rectangle select tool from the toolbox options select the edges copy it using control C and then create a new one under advanced options the fill with the background will be transparency and select the move tool move everything to the top left corner After we've moved everything to the top left corner, we'll go to Image, Canvas Size. Make sure the link is broken so you're not adjusting the width and the height at the same time. And then we will resize the canvas to match that of our plans. After we have resized our canvas, then we will remove this blue background to save on ink. Select the fuzzy select tool from your tool options. Select the blue background and press delete. Select the blue background again, press delete. Zoom in and select this and press delete. Each page will be 203.5 millimeters wide and 263.5 millimeters high. 
to do that, click on the ruler, drag it over. First, set this to millimeters. And you can zoom in. And you can see more precise. Go to 203.5 millimeters. Get it as close as you can. And then the next line will go at 407 millimeters. The next one will be 610. And the horizontal will be 263.5 millimeters. So click on the top ruler and drag it down. And to draw the dotted lines that sh will show up on your printout, you'll select the path tool click on the first guideline that you drew scroll down to the bottom and click on the bottom it will create a path from the top place that you click to the bottom place then you go to stroke path select the line you want, I use short dashes and I set this to millimeters and select a three millimeter wide line and click stroke path and then click any other tool besides the path tool to deselect this line if you click anywhere on your picture it will draw another line which you don't want so undo that click any tool to unselect the path tool reselect the path tool then you can go in and draw another line then we can do the horizontal lines. Now I will set page numbers for each page so you know which one is which when you print it out. I'll set the size to 100, 1, and then the opacity, I'll set to 20 so it doesn't cover anything up. Now we will export our plans to a JPEG. Go to File, Export, select the file type, select JPEG, and then Export, and increase that to 100%. Now we will open up the JPEG that we ex just exported. The width will be 8.5 by 11 and the borders will be 0. The width and height overlap size will be 0. The overlap position doesn't matter. I set this to 106 percent because most printers only print at 94 percent. Click the little disk icon to export it. Post Eraser will break your JPEG up into various pages and you'll see the dotted lines where you can line up your pages and tape them together. And each page has a page number. I try to arrange the smaller parts of the plane in Google SketchUp so that they would print out on one page rather than overlapping on to two pages. When you print your PDF out, make sure the shrink to printable area is selected and auto rotate and center is selected. I use Linux but Adobe Reader has the same function shrink printable area and auto rotate and center. 
before you print all your pages out, print out page two and measure this to make sure that it is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. Then you can go back and print the other 15 pages. This will ensure that your printout is scaled correctly and has the proper dimensions.